welcome back to my channel. Today's video is so exciting because I'm collaborating with Cosmo by Haley. She has been one of my faves since the very beginning. I love her channel. I love her Instagram. She's so freaking talented. So if you don't know who she is, make sure you subscribe to her channel, follow her on Instagram. I'll link all her stuff below. We kind of came up with the idea to do some wearable Halloween makeup. I know a lot of people aren't into the huge gory and messy Halloween tutorials and I totally get that. So I wanted to do something more like Halloween related throughout makeup, if that makes sense. <laughs> If you follow me on Snapchat, you know my sleeping schedule has been like absolutely horrible and I think I'm like starting to pay for it. I'm not really feeling the greatest. So if I seem a little bit off in this video, that is why. I have these like bags under my eyes. I never get that. I'm gonna put on some of this Tarte skincare. This is the Pack Your Bags 911 Under Eye Rescue. This is like bad. I've never seen my under eyes like this. So I'm just gonna let these sit. Okay, so I'm going to be priming my eyes this time around with the Tarte Tape Shape Concealer. 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 And um, the only reason I'm doing this is because like I really do feel like I need more coverage. And that's why I'm using a concealer on my eyelids today. I'm just going to take my finger and blend it all out. If you guys haven't tried the Shape Tape Concealer yet, oh, you are missing out. And then legit, you can set it with any kind of translucent powder, but you definitely want to make sure you set it. That way it'll be a lot easier to blend your eyeshadows, you know? So when I think of like Halloween makeup, I think of like cut creases, like maybe a black and orange cut crease. So that's what I'm going to do. Just kind of start fooling around with our cut crease. I'm going to be taking the color Innocent from the Tardis Pro eyeshadow palette and I'm also taking my smudged up smudger brush from Tarte and I'm just going to be creating a map out of our cut crease. Darkening that up a little bit more, I am taking the color Whimsy and just going directly over it and we're going to blend it out again using my smudged up smudger brush. Switching to a microscopic brush, I'm going to be taking the final color Punk and applying that more directly in the crease, really, really defining the cut crease and whatnot. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to the other cut crease, but in the meantime, I'm taking these puppies off. Definitely helped with the swelling. They're not as puffy. Now that we have both of our outlines of our cut crease, you guys kind of see how I got a little messy, like it's not a defined line. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take some concealer. I'm just gonna take the Tarte Shape Tape again, put a little bit on the back of my hand, and then I'm gonna use a very flat brush and kind of carve out to create that definitive um, crease. So just literally carving that out. Once you get the hang of it, it's actually really easy. Like, don't be intimidated. I promise you guys can do this. And you can see it's already making such a difference. Like, compare this eyelid to this eyelid. You can see it's so much sharper. While this is still tacky on my eye, I'm switching to the Full Spectrum Palette from Urban Decay. And I'm taking the color Jones right here. And I'm just going to pack that on. Okay, so this orange isn't working out the way I wanted to, so I'm just switching to the Morphe 35B. This is a matte orange, and I'm literally just gonna go right over that color. This will be a lot more pigmented and vibrant the way that I, yeah, there we go, the way that I want it to be. You can always clean up this part later, but typically you want your shadow to follow that little crease. Now I'm using the Tarte Double Take Liner. This has a pencil liner, like a gel pencil liner, and then a liquid liner. I really like this because it's a fast application and it just, it doesn't run, which is like my biggest thing is like, I don't like using liquid liners that run. So this is another reason why it's one of my favorites. For mascara, I'm using the Falsies Push Up Angel. This is from Maybelline. It's a tiny brush. Like I know some people might be like, what? but it actually gets so close to your lashes and gives them a lot of volume. So I really, really love this mascara. And it's perfect too, like for prepping for falsies and for the lower lashes. And I'm actually taking these lashes. I've used them a couple times, but 
just in case you guys didn't know, you can reuse your lashes. You just have to like sanitize them, make sure you clean them, don't just leave them around. I kind of leave them around a lot. These are from House of Lashes, and I'm just taking off the glue I have from previous times of using it, but these are from House of Lashes, and they are the knockout pairs. It actually was for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I know October's almost over, but I'm pretty sure you can still purchase these, and I know a portion of them is going to help donate for breast cancer, which is really sweet. Whoo, how you doing? Okay, so I'm gonna be bougie AF right now, and I'm gonna use the Dior Air Flash. This is really, really pricey, but I wouldn't use it or recommend it if I thought that otherwise, like if I didn't think it was worth the price. Like everybody raves about the Giorgio Armani foundation and I'm just kind of like, I don't see it. It's not my fave. But I'm just spraying it onto my Kabuki with Tarte and it's like, it gives you such a nice finish, especially if you're gonna be in photos, that's, that's another reason why I wanted to do this because it's Halloween. You know you're gonna be slaying your Snapchat. You know you're gonna be slaying those OOTDs. So you gotta, you gotta look good. For those of you wondering, I would say the coverage is medium to full. You can really, really build this up. And it just gives you such a nice like satin finish. It's not too matte and it's not too dewy. And then using the Tarte Shape Tape yet again. This is in the shade light medium. Oh, and in Dior Air Flash, I'm shade 301. I think it goes all the way up to like 600 or like 606 or 700. They have like a pretty decent amount of shades. Oof, if you guys could see these bags now. And then just taking a damp beauty blender and blending this all out. You wanna use a very light hand. And when you're like by your under eye, you kind of want to go back and forth. That way you're evenly spreading the product because, you know, the beauty blender is wet. So sometimes it can take away product, but if you're going back and forth and using same pressure all around, it should be good. Like people always ask me, like if you're stranded on an island, what makeup products would you take? If you were only allowed to bring two, my two would be mascara and concealer. To set my under eye, I'm losing... To set my under eye, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I know I use this so much, and I'm sorry if it seems like repetitive. I just literally haven't found a powder that is as good as this one. And then you just take your brush and set your under eye with the Laura Mercier Powder. And I also like to bring it down to my contour just because you want to set anything that you're going to put more powder over since this is like wet con wet concealer and wet foundation. You don't want any of that to like smudge off. And I kind of like pack it into the skin. I don't really bake anymore just because I have such dry skin. But if you are oily and if you crease a lot, feel free to bake to the gods. And then a little trick I learned from my boo Karen, I love Sarai. Um, she uses like a MAC Fix Plus to set everything that she just put on her face like the powder. And oh my god, it works amazing. I don't have Face Plus, but I do have the Smashbox Photo Primer Water. And basically this is just gonna make your skin feel like normal skin again. It's not gonna look cakey or anything. It's so good, like Karen, that is such a genius idea. <laughs> just let it dry. Don't do anything until it's fully dry. But in the meantime, we can do our brows, so. We gonna snatch them up. I'm using Benefits Goof Proof, just kind of combing them. I like this pencil because it's like a, it's like a definer, but it has like a teardrop shape. So it's different, like it gives you a different kind of approach. So I'm just starting underneath, giving a definitive line because I feel like I really need that, especially for the under part. It's so annoying because like I have more than enough hair here and it always grows here, but this side is just like meh. I'm using light feathery strokes. I'm not using heavy pressure like at all. For the lower lash line, I'm just gonna smoke it out using that black shade we used to create the cut crush. You wanna be super careful with this. Like don't have a lot of black on your, on your brush because it could go downhill really quickly. To contour, I'm taking the Tardis Pro Glow Palette and I'm using the color Sculpt. 
and I'm just gonna sculpt. I like to make a little fishy face when I'm doing it and go in motion, circular motions, kind of blending all over the place. And then I'm gonna warm that up and go right over it with MAC Give Me Sun. And this is a bronzer, but I like the way it looks over contours, like it kind of warms up the whole area. And I'm just gonna do this on my cheeks and my forehead. And then for highlight, I'm taking the color Lit from the Pro Glow palette. Let me tell you, this puppy is lit. Like, not even joking. Look at that. Look at that. I'm gonna do a bold one. This is actually a green color. This is from Kylie Cosmetics in the color Trick. First, going to apply Trick. This is for you bold baddies out there. All right guys, and this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure you also check out Haley's channel, subscribe to hers, and I'll see you next time. Bye.